Immaculate is directed by Michael Mohan and stars Sydney Sweeney. Cecilia, a woman of devout faith, is warmly welcomed to the picture-perfect Italian countryside where she is offered a new role at an illustrious covenant. But it becomes clear to Cecilia that her new home harbors dark and horrifying secrets. Now, I haven't watched much of Michael Mohan's filmography. I think he did another movie with Sydney Sweeney a while ago, but haven't watched that. And so, this is the first film of his I really watched so I have no idea of his of his filmography if it has like a bunch of horror stuff in there because I think he's actually really good at horror elements in the second half of this film being the horror fan I am that second half very much satisfied me but that first half is a bit repetitive with some of the most predictable types of horror elements that you could find in any other religious horror or just horror film in general but the one thing that saves this film throughout is the great cinematography and the performance by Sydney Sweeney, who is by far the best element of this entire film. Her character starts off very naive and pure at heart. She is trying to find the good in everyone, is trying to find a new purpose in her life, at least in terms of trying to find a newfound family. Her religious side of things, her faith, her belief in God, she always felt a calling towards. But these people who's running this place are taking advantage of that. And she doesn't notice that for a while because she's blinded by everything else around her trying to make sure that everyone is happy with her being here. And so she's not as focused on some of the more suspicious things and while she does notice things here and there it doesn't really come into fruition when something legitimately confusing to her happens in the film and that is when the plot gets going that's when some of the more predictable elements of the horror genre start to go away. Not entirely, there's still a few horror elements like a few jump scares or birds flying into windows that happen here and there, but it starts to dial down and we start to go into the more scientific, playing with God types of horror elements and all of that is very interesting and it basically challenges Cecilia's worldview in the film and forces her to do things that she wouldn't in the beginning of this film would have done which gives her a lot of character development and she becomes a changed person at the very end and that final shot is very much everything I wish the entire film was not that the rest of the film was awful or anything but that final shot at the end of the film I won't spoil what it is but it is one of the more inventive pieces of filmmaking that this film had to offer having it be a one shot a Sydney Sweeney having something terrible happen to her and it leaves a lot to the imagination to the audience with great sound effects and sound design to basically boost the horror elements. There's also a lot of good tension building in this second half where Sydney Sweeney's character Cecilia is having to do things as I said before that she never would have done and it almost always doesn't go to plan and it leaves her very vulnerable at many points of the film. She actually feels like a real human character and is not taking shit from anybody as now she's become a more mature person at this point and is forced to take things in her own hands. She is definitely, as I said, the most interesting character in this entire film. And I wish I could spoil what is happening to her if you haven't seen the trailers. Um, but it really is something that I found legitimately creepy and how it's portrayed in the film actually got under my skin a little bit. And as I said before, the cinematography is really fantastic. I love the old grainy aesthetic that makes it look like an 80s or 70s horror film and it could very much fit 
in that genre of films of The Exorcist or The Omen, and it very much fits very well in that type of genre. However, the rest of the characters and filmmaking in the first half is pretty much standard and kind of forgettable, mostly in the character side. The filmmaking is good, the editing is fine enough, the story and pacing flows pretty well, but the pacing, because you didn't really care much about the story so far, in the opening parts of the film, it does run a bit slow, and you're just waiting for the plot to get going. But I do like how we're still able to focus a lot on the character Cecilia and having us understand her. But it's really the characters around her that make it feel like it is a drag. And while there are many elements of the film that I really do admire, this is a film that doesn't do anything really exceptional until it gets to the final act of the film. Before then, it is a really well shot, really well directed, and pretty well acted horror film, but it's really not doing anything special, and I found it to be a bit predictable at times, and it's very obvious who the villains really are if you just looked at their di- if you just listened to their dialogue and watched how they're basically dressed and acting around Cecilia, in the first few seconds of when they start to get on screen it's just it becomes obvious and you really are just waiting for when it's revealed that these people are actually the ones doing all these terrible and unholy deeds overall this is a fun enough scary film if you are someone who's looking to find a horror film with your friends to watch I think you could have a lot of fun with this one, and I'm going to give Immaculate a B. Thank you guys so much for watching, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys next time.